here is my latest project. It is a bullet track box that I built all by myself. My intended purpose for this, which is very important for everyone to know, so it does make a big difference, is just shooting small caliber pistols. So 22, maybe a 380, maybe a nine millimeter. That's it, no rifles, just small caliber pistols. Um, probably the max distance I'm gonna be shooting at maybe be 25 to 30 yards. More than likely, it's gonna be more like around the 15 yard range. So I had seen a lot of different um, boxes and uh, different ideas that people had done online. And so I kind of took the good and left the not so good ideas and came up with my own design, my own build. So I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it works good. So the box itself is four foot tall and 32 inches wide. Um, it's built mainly with a uh, with plywood, two by fours, two by sixes, and a couple of two by twelves. Um, it does have a, a steel plate inside, an AR500 steel plate, and we'll get to that whenever I show you the inside of it. Now, one other thing with these wheels, um, when I first built it, my intention was to just move it with a dolly. But then after I saw how big and bulky and, and uh, heavy it is, you know, because that steel plate itself is at least 60 pounds, and there's a lot of wood in here too. Um, I thought it might be easier to just put on its own dedicated wheels. So I found this, this particular pull cart. Of course, I already had the box completely made. So when I got the cart, I had the box sitting right next to the cart. And I was thinking, about, hmm, how am I going to get that box that weighs a ton on top of that cart? So what I did is I just simply used my floor jack and maneuvered up each side a little bit and put uh, wood blocks underneath it until I got it tall enough. And then I also used the the uh, car jack stand. Once I got it tall enough, I was able to just feel the cart right underneath it, set the bullet box back down on top of it, work great, very easy to do. And I really like the wheels, it makes it easy uh, to move. Pretty cool. So I'll show you a little bit more about the inside of the box now. So up here is a 2x6, down here is 2x12. What I did is I cut a little notch groove out of these so that this will simply slide out. Voila. Okay, so on the inside is my piece of steel. It's AR500 steel, it's three of an inch thick, and it's 18 across, 24 inches um, tall. And then how I have it in there is it's angled forward at a 20 degree angle to hopefully help prevent ricochets um, or just direct any ricochets straight down to the ground. So it is being held in since it's very heavy. I think I went to weigh it. I think it's around 60 pounds, the plate. So it's leaning forward that 20 degrees. And so to be able to hold it in like that, it's surrounded by two by sixes that I also you know, cut out a little notched groove that's about a quarter of an inch. To hold that in so it's just laying right there on the edges of those uh, two by sixes. The bottom of it is just simply uh, more plywood and now I painted the inside of it you can see all completely white and I did that for a reason because whenever I do shoot in it I want to do a video because I'm, I'm very curious myself and I want to show exactly where the bullet hits and I want to be able to see if there's any specks or spots or places where the bullet does ricochet, and I wanted to see, you know, where that tip of looks. Good. So let me put this back on here. Then for the targets, um, these are like 12 by 18 sheets that I have set up to hold. And this is just a piece of uh, like a poster board that I got from Walmart. So that slides in there. So there's actually the window for my target. So as long as this target is hit anywhere on this piece of paper or anywhere two inches out from this, it's going to hit that steel plate. Anywhere like over here is probably going to hit that wood. But like I said, my intended purpose is only be using a pistol at uh, maybe 15 to 20 yards. So my goodness, if I can't hit a 18 by 24 sheet of paper at 15 yards, I probably should not be shooting. But, uh, but anyway, but there's always, you know, always things that come up, so it can go off when you're least expecting it, or you just, I don't know, have a bad aim, really bad aim. But let me show you again uh, around the box, kind of 
longer than dimensions and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about it. Okay, so as I said, it is four foot tall, 32 inches wide. At the deepest, down at the bottom, it's about 26 inches. And then, as you can see, I also added a little pocket on the side for targets and extra pieces of cardboard to go on the face. And back edge, angled at that 20 degrees. So there you go, there is a view and it's on the back side. Okay, so there you go. My personal design bullet trap box. I cannot wait to use it. I really want to see um, how, it work, how it works, how it functions. I'm, I'm really into the, the mathematical parts of it and just physics of it and to see where the trajectory of where the bullets go. I do have some bags of sand that I may just lay in the bottom inside here. Um, I want to try shooting you know, a bunch of different things. So I want to try you know, shooting through some boxes of mulch, some boxes of junk mail stuffed together. Soon as I get to try this, I will make a video and show you guys. I cannot wait.